Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So in my last video I showed you how you can use your PC as a digital transceiver using DMR and DSTAR by using BlueDV and also Ambi 3000 dongle. So today what I'm going to do is show you how I set up BlueDV to get DMR and DSTAR working. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to find out which COM port the Ambi 3000 dongle is plugged into. This is quite easy. So I'm on Windows 10, go to Device Manager, and we're looking for COM ports. Now at the moment I don't have it plugged in, so let's have a let me just plug it in. Okay, so the Ambi 3000 dongle is plugged in, and you can see here ports. So this shows me that my Ambi 3000 dongle is plugged in on COM8. So I can close that now. So on Blue DV, first thing we're going to do is click Update. Update DSTAR hosts. Then we click update, update call database. And then we click update, update DMR masters. Excellent. So now we want to go to menu, then set up. And this is where we're going to fill out some of the details to get it working. So the first thing we want to do is under the general section, we want to put our call sign in. Now remember the information that I'm entering here is specifically for me. This is my amateur radio call sign. Next is going to be serial port radio, select COM8, which we saw before. And the rest of them we can leave alone. We don't need to touch any of this. These other settings are used when Blue DV is being used to control a hotspot. Next section is DSTAR down here. I'm going to just change this to REF001C. This is because this is my preferred DSTAR reflector that I like to connect to. You've got here enable at start. If I tick that, what that means is that when the software is started and the serial connection is connected to the Ambi 3000 dongle, it will automatically connect to reflector 1C. Let's go over to DMR now. So here we need to put our DMR ID. Again, this is specific for me, so you need to have your own DMR ID and you can register that uh, on the internet. Next here we've got DMR type. There's three options here, but the first two is BM stands for Brandmeister and the second is DMR Plus. They're two different kind of DMR networks which we can connect to. Unfortunately, you can't change between DMR Plus and Brandmeister once you're actually connected in the software. You have to come back out to set up to change it. For this purpose, we'll select DMR Plus. Brandmeister, DMR Master, I'm going to select the one for Great Britain, and the master password, you need to change this 0, 2, or 1. DMR Plus, this is going to be the master server for DMR Plus, I'm in the UK, so I'm going to select Phoenix F. Now you probably saw here, there's quite a lot of different servers available, so just pick the one for your country, and you should be able to then access all the reflectors available for you. The default reflector is the reflector which it connects to when you enable DMR Plus. I'm going to select 4400, which is actually when connected to Phoenix F, and you enable DMR, it connects to the talk group 235, which is the UK calling channel. Fusion, we don't need to worry about this section because this is only used if you're using a hotspot. Fusion support will be added later for Ambi 3000 dongle. It's currently not available at the moment. Last section that we need to enable is the Ambi section. So use Ambi, tick here, select the serial port, COM8, as we saw before. DMR ID, which is, don't forget, that will be your own DMR ID, and serial port here. This is, I believe this is actually a, a board rate setting. Um, I select the top one because that's the one that works for me. We don't need to worry about using an Ambi server because we're not actually running it. One option you've got here is start, stop, beep. What you'll notice is when you use the software and you're talking in between each QSO and when you PTT, uh, you hear a short beep. I find it quite annoying, so I untick that and leave it off. So what we do now is click save, and we now need to tell the software which microphone to use and where to output the audio. So I click Ambi, 
top section is the microphone. I'm using a Rode into USB microphone and I'm going to output the audio to my speakers. So what I now need to do is select serial. This will initiate the connection between the software and the dongle that's plugged in. Uh, let me turn it on. What should happen is once it's communicated, it will show here next to firmware what it's connected to. So assuming that you've got it plugged in correctly and you've selected the correct COM port, it will show AMB3000 here. So let's go ahead and connect to DMR. So I'm going to select DMR on. Connect to reflector. Four, four, zero, zero. Down here it says logged in. Up here it says DMR master. So this is Phoenix F. And it did attempt to connect to the 4400 reflector. Now if you want to change reflectors, it's quite easy. We can just go over to this section here where it says Ambi. Type in the new reflector number. So if I go 4401. And then what I can do is I can actually key up on the software and it will then connect to that reflector. If you look down here, we have a D star. This is not what we want because we're on DMR. We change it to DMR. And this here is our, where it says Ambi 3000. This is our PTT. So I can click the mouse, it will go on air, and then just click again. Connect to reflector. Four, four, zero. And now we're connected to reflector 4401. I can also use the spacebar to initiate the call and then press the spacebar again to come off. Let's try connecting to D star. Now, if you remember, what happened was we selected in setup to connect to reflector 001 Charlie as soon as I turned on D star. It flew into Amsterdam many times. R E F zero zero one C Okay Andy, that is a one hundred percent copy. That is a one hundred percent copy, no problem at all and uh Now if I want to talk on D Star, I would have to come over to here on the right hand side and change it so it says D Star here then when I key up, it will be transmitting on this D-star section. Up here on the top right, this is where you can change reflectors if you want to, and you can also link and unlink. We also have DCS and XRF reflectors available to us as well. On the right hand side, we have last heard. This is pretty useful because it actually records all of the different users that you have actually received through to your software. Okay, so if you have any further questions, please don't forget you can leave them down in the comments section below. I'll leave a link to my previous video which you would have seen me using this software properly and actually having a couple of QSOs. And until the next video guys, take care and we'll see you then.